hello my amazing people welcome back to the channel now in this video i want to show you how you can create your own custom icons just like this over here or even this one here or even this using a free tool called auto draw made by google now the beauty about auto draw is that once you are trying to create a new drawing or icon it actually suggests for you a couple of other drawings that you may so wish to use instead of the one that you've tried to sketch out for example let me just try over here let me just show you if i do something like this automatically google is going to suggest several other drawings that may so look like whatever i've tried to sketch out now if i don't want this kind of drawing i can simply remove it let me just draw something else let me say this something like that okay now here it automatically again suggests for me what i may be meaning let me say maybe i'm meaning something like this at the same time i can fill this shape with something else for example when i click over here on fill i can choose the color i want to fill this with and boom there i go so now let's dive straight in and get started so the first thing you're going to do is that you're going to come straight to autodraw.com it's a free platform a free tool that you can use you can start by choosing your canvas for example if i want you know a horizontal canvas a square or maybe i want a vertical canvas something like this you can use this canvas to create several different other you know icons of the same canvas. or you can simply just create one icon and then you simply save that as for example when you come over here on the menu and say download it will automatically download your icon in a png at the moment it's a blank canvas so now to get started we are going to come over right here and over here you see the number of tools that you can use you have the select tool that helps you to move an icon around you have the auto draw tool the auto draw tool over here is one that is enabled with the ai technology on this platform which automatically suggests you know several other icons depending on what you have sketched out and here the draw tool is one which doesn't actually recommend any other tools it only takes up whatever you have drawn so for example if i draw something maybe like a road that is what i'll be able only to save and use in my artwork it doesn't suggest anything else but if i had drawn a road using let me say the auto draw You realize that automatically this auto draw tool is going to suggest several other icons that i can still use for example here i'm already having an icon for a road i have another over here and a lot more that you can still choose from over here so now when you go over straight to the type tool we can use it to create icons in the typeface of our choice but i simply just come over here choose a font that i want and i can simply just you know create my logo using that font i can still even switch it to something else okay and that's it the other thing i have to mention is that if you simply hit t on your keyboard automatically the type tool is selected and then you can simply start creating your you know font let me say let me say i want to create something like that i can come back over here change the font size but also i have the possibility to move or increase the size of this shape over here i can rotate it you know and i do anything with it like so I can come back over here change the color to another different color something of that sort i can also create a shape for example when i come over here i can simply just choose let me say this shape over here then i'll select a color for that shape one that i want to use and i can simply just draw a shape over right here i can move it to any location that i want let me say this location i can also choose uh, to give it a feel of my choice so let me say the feel is going to be red so i'll simply just say still red and then i'll simply just come over here and then i fill my shape so something of that sort now i can save this as an icon at the same time if i don't want to save the whole artwork so i can again let me first select the whole of this move it a little bit up and then i'll come back over here and then i can resize my artwork okay something like that now i can simply say save or download now downloading means that i'll have downloaded my auto draw icon or the icon 
onto my computer something like this now i can reuse this anywhere i want on my website in my artwork let's try something else also now when we come back over here let's use a different canvas so we have a square and now we can still do something for example we can now play around with shapes we want our shape stroke to have a different color let me say it's going to be in purple now i simply select the shape tool come over here choose our shape then we are going to add another shape it's going to be a circle so we'll simply just come over here grab our circle then come over here get our move tool position our circle maybe we didn't want our circle to have the same stroke so we're going to delete the circle and now we're going to change the stroke to be something different else come back select our shape now select our circle now come get our move tool move our circle to or position our circle to where we want come back choose a different color because we're going to add another shape and this shape is going to be having a red stroke come back here choose our shape tool then now we're going to add a different shape something of this sort i'm going to use my move tool and i'm going to position our move tool just like this so it's something like that and there we go i can select the whole of these position them to where i want and now i can even give them different fields for example when i select over here now come and select fill then now you can choose a different color for the fill now this is going to be filled like so then i'm going to come back over here select my other circle i'm going to select the fill tool i'm going to come over here choose a different fill and i'm going to come over here and give it a fill the same also for this shape can come back over here you know give it a different feel let me say this is going to be black sorry i didn't want to give it a stroke the stroke is supposed to stay so i'm simply going to come over here and then say undo we have our red stroke we're going to select our fill come here choose a different color for our fill it's going to be black come here and then add our fill so basically that's how i can also choose to use the shapes in uh, the auto draw tool I can zoom into my artwork to simply see where everything is positioned go back to 100% to our canvas size if I don't want anything like this I can simply just hit delete everything now if we go back to our auto draw tool let me say I want to create a logo of something like a bicycle shop so I'm going to simply now try to create something like a bicycle I'm not really good at these drawings but I know you get the idea finally we have something like a bicycle so here it shows up see here and all these are very nice suggestions so let me say i'm going to use this one so i'll have my bicycle over there then i can add you know anything like a wording and say bike shop let me first change my font i want to use a very different font so i'm going to come back here come and choose a different font over here and say bike shop So shop. I will position my wordings to whatever I want. Somewhere here. I can rotate this and maybe make it sit somewhere here. Oh, it's a little bit small, so I can even make it a little bit bigger. and there we are and now i can even choose to change the feel if our bike shop is going to have something different color up here i'm going to use a different one let me say a red and that's how simply i can create a logo for our bike shop i can select all these move them a little bit up then i can resize my canvas now i can simply save this and boom there i have another icon but if we only want to use create icons just like any of this over here let's draw one for an eye and we see so we're going to come back over here you know we can either create a new canvas or we can just revert or we can simply delete everything resize our canvas now come we're going to draw an eye so an eye should be something like that 
and do something like this so this is an eye we have an eye we have an eye we have an eye I think I prefer this and now we can even do some fillings for example come here select your fill tool and now we can come and fill up our icon our fill to the eye and then here we're going to add something else let me say we're going to add a fill to this other shape over here a little bit a little bit darker of uh, a dark black so fill come here select darker black then we're going to give it to something like that we can as well select the shape and we can give it a different stroke so let me say we're going to give it a stroke of a little bit of brown brown like so we can come back here select here and we can change also the fill the fill color uh, to make it a little bit lighter something of that sort so if that is the eye that you want to use you can simply just add your colors or just make custom colors to fit whatever you want or whatever you want to use it and then you can simply now save your icon by selecting remove our eye and there we go now we are going to simply just download now if you want to remove a background of white because this is a png image but at the same time it has a, a background of white what you're going to do is we're going to come over here to a tool called remove dot bg and this tool helps us to basically remove a background of any image we're going to come over here we can come open up our icon which is the eye icon and we can simply drop our icon and boom now it doesn't have the background but it looks a little bit changed i can come over here and say edit i can say restore there is an option here to say restore and here i can restore a part that was deleted yet i still wanted it to appear what we simply wanted is only to remove the white at the same time i can restore the other side Okay, cool now i can simply download my restored image or one that doesn't have a background now when i come over here i'll open this you realize that we don't have a background which is white now i can use this icon in my design projects anywhere so in a nutshell that's how you can simply create your own icons using google auto draw and you can use the remove.bg tool to remove the background that is over right here which is white in color okay before closing this up there are some things that I have also to mention, for example, when you come over here on the menu icon, you can, apart from downloading, you can share your icon on social media with your friends or your community to see what you are able to create. Or you can simply just copy the link over here and paste it on your social media platform. At the same time, you can come over here and look into the shortcodes. Like I had told you earlier, when you hit T, you basically go into the type tool. When you want to, for example, undo, you simply command Z or control Z. If you want to redo, you can simply shift command Z or shift control Z and a lot more like you see in this documentation. And that's all. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Have a good time and goodbye.